In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to embed Typeform in Shopify. Integrating interactive forms from Typeform into your Shopify store can enhance your customer engagement, collect feedback, and even lead to increased sales. Let's walk through this process together in a straightforward manner. Our first step is to navigate to the Typeform website. Typeform is a versatile tool that allows you to create dynamic interactive forms and surveys. Once you're on their homepage, you'll need to access your account. To do this, look for the Login button. Click on it to proceed to the next step of the process. After clicking Login, you'll be presented with various options for signing into your account. One of the fastest ways to get logged in is by using the Continue with Google option. This allows you to sign in with your Google account credentials, streamlining the login process. If this suits you, go ahead and click it. Now, after you've authorized the login through Google, it might take a couple of minutes for the process to complete. This delay is normal, so please be patient. Once logged in, you're ready to find the form you want to embed into your Shopify store. To look at your form, you'll need to access your form dashboard. You might have a link that directly takes you to your form, or you can navigate through the type form interface to find it. Upon finding your form, you'll notice three dots or an ellipsis symbol next to it. Click here to unveil more options. In the menu that appears after clicking the three dots, look for an option labeled Connect. This is where the integration magic begins. By clicking Connect, you are starting the process to link your form with Shopify. The next step involves specifying that you want to connect to Shopify. In the search bar or the list of available integrations in Typeform, type in Shopify and select it. After selecting Shopify, you'll see a prompt or a connect button. Click it to confirm your choice to integrate with Shopify. Subsequently, you'll be redirected to a page that might ask you to log into your Zapier account. Zapier acts as a bridge between Typeform and Shopify, facilitating the data exchange between the two. After logging in, or if you're already logged in, Zapier will prompt you to choose which account you wish to connect. Select your account and move on to the next step. This next part involves giving Zapier the permissions it needs to operate between Typeform and Shopify. Click on Authorize to grant these permissions. It's crucial as it allows the necessary data flow that will enable your form to be embedded and function correctly on your Shopify site. Now you might be prompted to set up or fix triggers. Triggers are events in Typeform that prompt an action in Shopify. For instance, a completed form entry can trigger an email notification or a new customer entry in your Shopify database. Take a moment to define these triggers according to your needs. After configuring the triggers, you're almost done. The final step within Typeform is to click on Publish. By doing so, you are finalizing the integration process, making your form active and ready to embed in Shopify. Now that we've set up everything on the Typeform and Zapier end, the process of embedding the form into your Shopify store is straightforward. Typically, this involves copying a provided embed code from Typeform and pasting it into the appropriate section of your Shopify store, like a product page or a dedicated form page. To ensure a seamless experience for both you and your customers, it's always a good idea to test the form after embedding it. Submit a test entry to see if everything functions as expected and check if the data appears in your Shopify dashboard if you've set up triggers for such actions. And just like that, you've successfully integrated a type form into your Shopify store, enhancing your site's capability to engage with visitors beautifully and effectively. Remember, the key to effective use of forms is not just in their deployment, but in continuously analyzing the responses and making adjustments based on customer feedback. I hope this tutorial was clear and helpful. Thank you for following along. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy form building. And here's to enhancing your online store's interaction with your customers.